In order to verify you're placing the correct items in an order, Ortoro provides order packing quality control via barcode scanning. This helps by scanning the items as you place them in the box. This will remove them from the list of items that you need to be packed, and it will let you know if you scan an incorrect item or too many of an item. Barcode scanning for packing also allows you to scan in your kit components to verify you're putting the correct ones in the order for the kit that was purchased. Once you've completed scanning in an order, the order will be tagged as contents verified, and there will be a comment on the order with the user that packed it. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use barcode scanning for order packing quality control. So the first way that we'll do this is just manually for a single order. So go to the orders tab and we'll work on this order right here. So let's say I want to scan this order in. Um, I'm going to expand it and then go to scan verify package contents. Now I also have my barcode scanner connected up and I have the items next to me that I need to place in the box. I've already picked them. So now I'm gonna scan them as I place them in the box. Uh, it will remove them from this list and it will let me know if it is an incorrect item or too many. So we'll start with, let's do this top one first, the golden rod. Pick it up and I will scan it, put it in the box. We'll see that the quantity verified is one and the quantity ordered is three. So I just need to scan two more uh, as I place them in the box. Grab one more and the last one. And when I scan this last one, it's gonna disappear from the list so it's not cluttering it up. I know what I still need to put in the box. So the next one is the periwinkle. So I'll pick that, pick one of those up, scan it and put it in the box and grab my second one, scan it and put it in the box. Now let's say I went to grab a third periwinkle, I wasn't paying attention and I scanned it. It's gonna say, hey, you know, you, you've already scanned this for this order, it's too many, so I'll know to do that, hit continue and set that aside, not put it in the box. Um, if we also scan uh, another barcode that's made up for something that's maybe not on this order. It's also going to say this is a, hey, this isn't associated with this order, so don't put it in the box. And let me just go ahead and scan my last item here, this taupe. And that's it. So now since I've put all the correct items in the box, um, it's going to tell me, hey, these three of three lines were verified for this order. When I hit confirm, we'll see a tag pop up on this order to show that it is contents have been verified and now I know that it's verified so later when I'm going to create labels or whatever your process is you can filter to the orders with the content that contents that have been verified I can also hover over this timeline here and we'll see that the package contents have been verified and who did it what user logged in made those verifications so now let's say we want to do this for um, multiple orders at a time. I've printed a batch of packing list. I went and picked all the items for those. I have them sitting here and I'm ready to go pack them all up. What we'll do to do multiple is we'll hit this scan verify package contents up at the top. What this will do is pull up a modal that says, hey, scan the barcode on your packing list. Um, so you'll just need to make sure you have the barcode on the packing list selected when you print it out. Um, so then I'm just going to scan a packing list barcode and it's gonna pull up the items in the order that I need to pack. This one is also a kit. It has a kitted item on the order. So you'll see this is the, the kit here. Right? And it doesn't have a UPC set for it because it's a kit. Um, and then this other item. We can also see the order kind of right over here. Great, it's behind this modal. We'll see that it's just the kit and this other item. But what I'll be able to do is scan the kit components and, that and it's gonna have the quantity that needed is needed for the order. So for this this kit, I just have one of each of these, but if I needed three of each or two and seven and one or whatever the combination is for your kit, it's going to remove those uh, as verified. And then once all of them have been verified for at least one quantity of the kit, the quantity will increase over here. And then if you have multiple quantity of that kit ordered as well, it's going to increase the quantity verified as you quantify um, scan enough for that kit. And then I also just have a, a normal item down here. This item is something that is in this kit. So when I start scanning in, let's start with this item that's ordered on its own and in the kit. 
when I start scanning, it's going to verify it for the individual items first to kind of get them out of the way. So I'll scan this a couple of times and it's gonna be verified. So I put those two in the box um, and now I see that I have one more sitting over here. It's probably, so it's associated with this. So when I scan that, it's gonna remove it from the kit. I put it in the box and then I just need to scan the other two items in the kit. So I'll go ahead and do that. And my last item here, put it in the box. And now it says, hey, two of two lines were verified for this order. So I'll hit confirm. We'll get the tag on this order. And it's instead of closing out the modal like it did when I just scanned individually, it's going to say, okay, scan your next barcode um, so that I can go ahead and move on through the whole uh, set of orders that I'm packing right now. And then whenever you're finished with that set, just hit close. Um, and then you're all good. And now, like I said, you can filter by the contents verified tag and see all of the orders that have been verified so that we can go ahead and ship them out, create labels for them or, or whatever you need to do. You can also do this from the shipped filter. So if your process is to create labels and then pack, um, you can do the same thing from the shipped filter. You can enter the multi-packing mode or you can expand an order and scan and verify those package contents. So there's a lot of options here. It's gonna work into your workflow um, and it should be really convenient. If you have any questions about it um, or about like what type of barcode scanners to use, anything like that, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you figure that all out. Thanks for watching.